Hey everybody, welcome back. So this week I wanted to start a conversation on how to move forward from disappointment. Now there are two reasons why I wanted to start this conversation this week. Number one, it was just a few days ago that the US really started shutting down from coronavirus and all the championships have been canceled. So I know that there are a lot of sad, frustrated and disappointed people out there right now. And then the second reason is because I believe as women, we have been given really, really bad advice on how to move forward from disappointment. So today, I just wanted to talk about three things that I think are really important that we know as women. Now, number one, we need to know that we are really bad at letting things go. Um, you probably already know that, but I always like to use the example. When two men get into a fight, they can actually get into a physical altercation. They can punch each other in the face. They can say the most awful things to each other. And an hour later, they are sitting on the couch laughing, acting as if nothing has happened. They can just let it go. Where we know as women, if that happened to us, we would take it to the grave, right? Because when we think about that event, we don't just remember the event, we remember how it made us feel. Our emotions are attached to that event. So when we think about it, it's as if we are refeeling what we felt in that moment and it makes it very, very hard for us to let it go. Now, number two, um, the only way to move forward from disappointment is to walk through it. We need to speak our truth about it. We need to go through the emotions. We need to allow ourselves to feel it. But so often we don't wanna, right? We don't wanna talk about it. We don't wanna deal with it. So we shove it down into the darkness, hoping that it'll just go away. But if you've seen my previous videos, you know it doesn't just go away. When we don't talk about it, when we don't deal with it, when we don't go through the emotions, it becomes like an anchor in us. And we go to take a step forward and we can't move. We are stuck. And we do this in failure as well, ladies. We don't wanna deal with it, it's too embarrassing. I don't wanna talk about it, so we shove it down, hope it'll go away. It doesn't just go away. It creates an anchor in us and it keeps us stuck. I was working with a college softball player and she was a pinch hitter and the coach promised her that she would be put into the next game. Well, next game came and coach did not put her in. She actually put another teammate in, um, somebody that's actually younger than her. So it really burned. So anyway, we get on FaceTime the next day and I can just see it in her, right? I can see the frustration. And so I say, tell me how you feel. She's like, look, it is what it is. Coach made that decision, it just is what it is. I was like, come on, man, be real with me. And suddenly the dam broke and she was real. She talked it out with F-bombs, with tears, her frustration, her disappointment, the, the pain that she felt, she spoke her truth. She got it out. And let me tell you, had she just gone with, look, it is what it is, and not dealt with it, it would have created an anchor and she would have been stuck. But instead, she spoke about it, she dealt with it, and she was able to move forward from it. We need to speak our truth. And then number three, we are able to be positive without faking it. This whole idea of fake it till you make it, believe me, you never make it, right? I believe that we have really confused this idea of being positive. We think it's like a light switch. We think we can go from, you know, disappointed and sad and frustrated to, oh, let me flip it. I'm gonna be positive now. Rainbows and cotton candy and life is grand. It doesn't work that way, right? I believe we can be real and positive at the same time like this, I'm gonna be real, this sucks, <laughs> right? I mean, that's real, this sucks. 
This is not what I want. I'm sad and disappointment, disappointed and hurt and angry and confused. I'm being real, but this is my reality and I have to accept it. How do I make the most of this new reality? Real and positive. Even though this isn't what I want, this is not what I want. Even though this isn't what I want, I'm gonna accept that this is my reality now. So, how do I give my best in this situation? You are able to be real and positive at the same time. I hope that some of this has helped. I'm sending a lot of love out to you guys, and I will see you next time.